Okay, so this is a you know seventh floor area. So this may have been here all along, or it may have come up. Like so, what I'm trying to show you is that suddenly, suddenly, like I mean, the walls were not in this condition when I took the place over, but they are now. So this kind of ridging happened right after the explosion. Again, like I said, some of the seams have disappeared, but I'm just trying to give you an idea because I've had to look at things differently since the explosion. And again, what exploded, I have no idea. The amount of water, etc., the damage. So this is what some of what looks like, looks like. Now, again, there were probably imperfections that over time materialized, but they all materialized at once. Okay, so, um, but this is an area where you probably get a lot of high stress um, from the actual wear and tear and the settling of the building. But the apartment certainly wasn't like that. Anyway, just giving, showing you. The other thing is, there's been a sudden increasing late night partying um, with strange kids. These people have showed up out of nowhere in the last two days. What the heck is that? And they're here quite often these days. Now they could be innocent, but when there's a sudden change in you know, behavior. The building does not have the building doesn't have um, teenagers like that. So now I'm going to show you something that happened right after the release of that Airbnb. Um, the damage has always been kind of always high after vandals reach. Now the vandals I'm referring to are people who do not live here, who come and then they bring the village and then the village do things. So And it's again into the men's. The men's owner has suddenly died the day after, the Monday after the weekend, where the Airbnb or whatever it is uh, surged and sent a lot of people into the area, which is normally what happens. So, as a resident, you're always completely hijacked. Okay, so this is broken and was broken right after the surge in these strangers. There's always some level of damage. The, as you'll see, many of my things show that the handles are broken off. Okay, this one hasn't been repaired in uh, about five months. So, uh, you know, I don't know. These um, massive stains in the floor, again, that came only after you have the vandals come through. So people are coming in here doing stuff. I can get that out for you in a second. So maybe I'll show you the stain damage and then you will 
I'll repair it. Now here it is. This is the room that they were sleeping in. Anybody in there? Hello? I thought you could see it's wide open. And uh, so the guard used to sleep in here. Heard him snoring after I found him sleeping in a bed that they made. They actually made a bed over here. Uh, the desk I got re replaced because it, in a storm, the other one had been, had been picked up and broken. So I took photographs to show. And, and really, this one already has, has gotten even worse. <laughs> now, when that, um, you know, whoever that person was, like from where I was standing, you couldn't see, you know, the visual. I could see the person suddenly go up to the tree and start playing. So you may want to place motion sensor lights in some parts of the, if people are um, the same vandals also vandalized the uh, children's swings. Um, this is an area that I come down to at night like this, quiet, and I would meditate. But this is also where people come and smoke. You know, so just giving you an idea. So this is well lit, but Oh, by the way, did you know about the time that I came swimming in the morning when I first got here and I found a dead fish in the water, like about, a, I'm talking about six inches by about four inches. <laughs>